Life in North Texas revolves around water. Without it, things would be much different. But don't worry, we have plenty of water, and two major water suppliers are making sure that trend will continue long into the future. We're talking about a new project called the Integrated Pipeline, a lifeline connecting North Texas to an abundance of water sitting in East Texas reservoirs. The pipeline, or IPL as it's called, is our future, and we're excited to tell you that it's coming. Yes, it's an expensive project, $2.3 billion, but those costs are being shared by the Tarrant Regional Water District and the City of Dallas. And building one pipeline together instead of two separate lines actually adds up to a ton of savings. So let's explore how the IPL came to be, why it's needed, and what it does to ensure access to a reliable water supply. The water that we use in our daily routines comes from a series of reservoirs scattered across the region. In fact, the two lakes that supply Tarrant County with most of its water, Cedar Creek and Richland Chambers, are located miles away in East Texas. Huge pipelines are used to bring that water to the places that we need it. But over the decades, the Metroplex has grown, and with it, the demand for more water. And as the number of households and businesses grows, the number of people drinking from those lines has grown too. At some point, those two lines won't be enough. For Dallas and TRWD, getting access to more water to meet anticipated needs is a top priority. And for both entities, the IPL offers a solution. It adds a new water supply to the Dallas system by giving it access to Lake Palestine, located mostly in Henderson County. And it gives the water district full access to more water in Cedar Creek and Richland Chambers. Turns out, the water available in each of those lakes is more than the water district can squeeze into existing pipelines. More water, full access, the IPL gives Dallas and TRWD the ability to bring an additional 350 million gallons per day into the Metroplex. Plus, it provides a way for TRWD to deliver additional supplies from two water reuse projects located by its East Texas reservoirs. New pipelines don't happen by accident. A lot of planning takes place before any dirt is moved. In the midst of planning their own separate pipelines, Dallas and TRWD discovered the routes were similar. Both agencies looked at their needs and their timing and the cost of building one pipeline instead of two, and they liked what they saw. Savings, lots of it, a billion dollars over the life of the project. So instead of two pipes, we're teaming together and building one. Good question. Dallas's lake is even further away than Cedar Creek or Richland Chambers, and they will pay to make that connection. The cost to build other sections, the ones shared by Dallas and TRWD, will be covered by both entities. And the final sections, the places where the water begins its solo journey into Dallas or Tarrant County, will be the responsibility of the agency receiving the water. So there are portions that Dallas pays for, portions that TRWD pays for, and portions that we share. Even though we're sharing in the cost of building the pipeline, the water in the system remains separate. Water destined for Tarrant County from Cedar Creek or Richland Chambers belongs to TRWD. The water routed into Dallas County from Lake Palestine belongs to Dallas. Decisions and timing of building the pipeline are decided by both agencies. But to make it all happen, TRWD was given the lead role. The team decided that Tarrant Regional was the best place to manage, operate, and issue the bonds needed to complete the project. It's a serious responsibility, and the water district is making it happen. In addition to meeting future demands for a growing population, the IPL will give both agencies added reliability. And reliability means keeping up with demands 24-7, 365 days a year, no hiccups. Take a look at the pipeline's location. Its path is separate from the pipelines currently in place. 
In fact, it's in a whole different electric grid, and that gives us some flexibility should something bad happen in one location or another. We will still have the capability of moving water from East Texas into the Metroplex. And because the IPL integrates TRWD and Dallas water systems, each agency will be able to help the other out in emergency situations. When was the last time you turned on the tap and nothing came out? Reliability is important. And so here it is, the integrated pipeline, under construction and making its way towards the Metroplex. The first phase of the project is scheduled for completion by 2018. Here's some more good news. During this initial phase, we've noticed the speed at which demands are growing has slowed, and that now gives us the ability to slow down building certain parts of the pipeline. Spreading out the construction time frame gives us time to pay down debt, and that adds up to a pocket full of savings. Rest assured, we'll be keeping an eye on water demands and population growth, but new sections of pipeline won't be added until they're needed. Meantime, we'll keep the water flowing and planning to meet your needs for decades to come.